Hey, yo, Bonnie, why you not responding to my DMs? I sent you. If you live in British Columbia and you're on Instagram, you've probably seen a post from Seabus Memes. The account started in 2018 as a way to poke fun at the humble public transport service between North Vancouver and downtown Vancouver. Three years later, it's become BC's most popular meme account, satirizing life in the province and boasting more than 100,000 followers. And this is the creator behind it. I've always been fascinated by memes. He's asked us not to share his real name or identity, so we'll refer to him by his online name, Daddy Seabus, and go with his usual form of disguise. Man, I know there's there's there are accounts that have been around for a long time, but not a lot of accounts before then did like Vancouver, BC and Vancouver specific content. Let's get to know BC's top meme creator. When I first started, it was just pictures, just picture memes. Um, and that's still like mostly what I do. But um, after a couple months, I started experimenting with videos. I live in North Van. I don't live in Van proper. You gotta take a bridge. To the, the first time that I really felt like, oh, it's kind of blowing up was I did this um, full house theme song parody. <laughs> Whatever happened to affordability? Woo. The Grizzlies, the Palladium, the old A and B. Dang it. I have to come up with what the song's about, write the song, record the song, animate the video around the song. So it's like, sometimes that'll be like 25, 30 hours. But for like the typical post you'll see of just like 10 image memes in a set. Yeah, that'll take me maybe like 15, 20 hours. And I just do that in the evenings after work. My friends are all really supportive. Um, I think I think they think it's cool. I think I told my mom about it after like a year. But at that point, I was like, "Look, I'm like, I was like on the radio with it, and like, there's an article written about me." And so she was like, "I don't think she like knew what a meme was before then." But once I showed her that it, like the attention it was getting, she understood. She was very proud. BC meme accounts have proliferated in the past couple years, but Seabus has stood out from the rest. So what does he think makes a good meme? I guess that's the key to humor in general is to is to sort of for the punchline to be a surprise. Like I like hyper local things, like really niche things. Go, 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 go. I don't know, like Cactus Club, for example. Like I know there's Cactus Club in like other provinces as well, but it's very much like a BC thing. The like engagement, the likes on my posts skyrocketed since the pandemic. And that's, I think that's because it's something everybody can agree on. I posted a bunch of heat wave memes and that was my, that was my most successful post ever. Just because that's everybody, you can't escape the heat. Everybody's experiencing the heat at the same time. Daddy Seabus has kept his identity hidden for three years. Will we ever know who's behind the page? I genuinely thought one day I would like show my face on the account. And maybe one day I will, I don't know, but as I kept doing it, I, I realized that like there, there's value in the anonymity. When people can see the person behind something, they start putting a lot of their own judgments and biases on the content just based on who the person is, you know? He's run the account for years as a side hustle. So what's next for Seabus? The goal would be to just fully be able to make a living off of it. Uh, it would be nice to not have to work my day job and balance this at the same time. Doing this kind of stuff is, is, is what I really care about. I think there's, there's something, I'm waiting for something better. Whatever that may be, Seabus has plenty more jokes to ferry around. Alex McDowell, CBC News, Vancouver.